If you're diving into cybersecurity, you gotta get comfy with the Linux terminal. Switching from Windows? Trust me, Linux is your go-to. And if you're a hacker, ethical of course, or trying to learn hacking and pen testing, Linux literally runs your life. So yeah, everyone needs to use the Linux OS. Let's dive in. All right, before we jump into the actual commands, let me just say this. If you're just starting out in cybersecurity, maybe you want to be an ethical hacker, maybe you're curious about pen testing, the Linux terminal is your best friend. And hey, don't worry if you're new to this. In this mini Linux series, I'm going to walk you through the basics step by step, so by the end, you'll be using the terminal like a pro, or at least feeling like one. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, you got to know how to move around in Linux. But before that, make sure you're actually on a Linux distro. If you haven't set one up yet, I've got a video showing you how to install Kali on a VM. Go check that out real quick. Now let's kick things off with our first command. Fire up the terminal, PWD. That stands for Print Working Directory. Basically, it tells you exactly where you are in the system. Cool, but what's actually inside this directory? That's where LS comes in. It lists everything in your current folder. Want more detail? Run ls-lh. Want to see the hidden files too? Try ls-lha. We'll dive deeper into combining flags like that in future videos. But for now, just remember, ls is how you look around. Now to actually move around. We've got cd, which stands for change directory. If you type cd desktop, it takes you into the desktop folder. And cd dot dot takes you one level back, kind of like stepping back. Just cd alone brings you back to your home directory. That's the tilde, which means your home. And here's a fun little test to see how it works. Run cd dot dot a couple of times and you'll end up at the root of the system. That's just a plain slash. Run pwd again and you'll see you're right at the top, at root. Now just type cd to jump back home and run clear to clean up your terminal screen. Simple stuff. But trust me, this is the foundation of everything you'll do in the terminal. Now that we know how to move around, let's start working with files. When we run ls, you'll usually see a couple of directories already in the home folder. To create a brand new empty file, we use touchbrute.txt. If you want to add content to it, you'll need a text editor. I'm using mousepad here, but you can use nano, vim, or anything you prefer. Just run mousepadbrute.txt, then go ahead and type something in. Another way to quickly create a file with content is echo your text, filename.txt. Now let's say we want to make a copy of this file. We use cp, cpbrute.txt desktop. That command copies our file into the desktop folder. If you cd desktop and then run ls, boom, you should see the copy there. If we want to rename the file, we use mv, which stands for move. But you can also use it to rename mvbrute.txt brute2.txt. Want to move it to another location? Same command. Move brute2.txt to tilde documents, or wherever you want it to go. And finally, if you want to delete the file, we use rm, short for remove. rm brute2.txt will delete it. Want to delete a whole folder and everything inside it? Use rm-rf folder name. Oh, and if you ever need to make a new folder, that's mkdir folder name. Big warning on rm-rf. It deletes everything inside. Run that in the wrong place, you could wipe your whole system. All right, so now we know how to create, copy, move, and delete files like a pro. But what if you actually want to see what's inside a file? First up, catit prints out the contents of a file right in the terminal. Try catbrute1.txt. You'll see everything inside. Cat actually stands for concatenate, which means to combine. You can merge two files into one with catbrute1.txt backup dot txt greater than all dot txt. Now all dot txt has content from both files combined. We can even create a new file using cat. Just run cat greater than brute dot txt, type your content, then press control plus D to save and exit. Run ls to see the new file and cat brute dot txt to read it. Now what if the file is huge and cat just floods your screen? This is where less and more come in. Less file one dot txt lets you scroll up and down with your arrow keys or page up, page down. More file onetxt shows the file page by page but only scrolls forward. Tap Q to quit either one. Sometimes you don't need the whole file, just the beginning or the end. 
Head file 1.txt shows the first 10 lines. Tail file 1.txt shows the last 10 lines. You can as well add dash n and specify the lines to display. These are perfect for quickly checking config files, notes, or scripts. And that's it. To recap, you've just learned how to create, copy, move, delete, and now view files directly from the terminal. I've also attached a free resource so you can practice all the Linux commands we covered. Check the description below. If this helped you out, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and catch you in part two.